Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day. Uh, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to discuss you about uh, a few theoretical concepts now sort of which we are going to discuss about the efficiencies of a compressor now a wide variety of efficiency definitions exist which characterizes its volumetric, energetic and thermal qualities of a compressor and discuss below are going to be few important ones but not the only ones uh, do remember that so now one such efficiency what we are going to discuss is called as isothermal efficiency so it is defined as a ratio of isothermal work done to the actual work done during the polytropic compression so mathematically it could be written like this the isothermal efficiency eta iso uh, is equal to isothermal work done by actual work done this is called as isothermal efficiency then uh, one more type of efficiency what we are going to discuss is called as adiabatic efficiency it is defined as the ratio of work done in compressor with reversible adiabatic compression to that of with irreversible adiabatic compression so mathematically so work done with reversible adiabatic compression to the work done with irreversible adiabatic compression this is called as adiabatic efficiency and uh, the mechanical efficiency is a general type of efficiency which is defined as a ratio of uh, indicated power of the compressor to the power input to the compressor so this is nothing but the mechanical efficiency so mathematically indicated power of the compressor to the input power of the compressor uh, and then uh, the efficiency is uh, other types so it's called uh, one more is called as a uh, overall efficiency of the compressor so the overall efficiency is defined as the ratio of adiabatic or isothermal power to the shaft power is called as overall efficiency and then uh, we have one more small concept that is called as uh, free air delivery so what is this free air delivery now one can observe a pv diagram so the v1 to v4 is going to be considered as free air delivery so when I was explaining about the basics of the reciprocating compressors in my one of the introduction classes. So I have explained that uh, uh, the work done expression can be solved in two different steps. One is uh, considering the clearance volume and neglecting the clearance volume. The moment if we consider the clearance volume, the process 3 to 4 is going to be considered as a uh, polytropic expansion process uh, during which the high pressure gases is going to be there after the start of the suction stroke during which whatever the high pressure is there that is going to be when the piston starts moving towards uh, BDC from TDC what is going to happen the high pressure air is going to get expanded till the suction valve is going to be open that is when the pressure is going to go below the atmospheric pressure till then the process 4 is going to be obtained that is what I have explained over there so now during this process even though the swept volume is there during the process of 3 to 4 the air is not going to enter in this portion so the air is going to enter in the section stroke only after the process 4 now the only after the process 4 months the pressure inside the engine cylinder in the reciprocating compressor has to fall below the atmospheric process so during that is called as 3 to 4 now 4 to 1 is the process where actually the air is going to be enter inside so that we are going to call it as free air delivery is the actual volume of the air delivered under the conditions of temperature and pressure existing at the compressor intake that is called as a free air delivery which is very important uh, to solve some of the problems and it is usually expressed in terms of uh, meter cube per minute which is also called as VA or it could be referred as V1 minus v4 also whereas the swept volume is going to be referred as v1 minus v3 and then one more uh, important type of efficiency that we are going to discuss is called as the volumetric efficiency so volumetric efficiency is defined as the ratio of a free air delivered by the compressor to the swept volume or displacement of the compressor that's what fad by uh, swept volume that is VA by VS or V1 minus V4 divided by V1 minus V3 is going to be the volumetric 
efficiency so mathematical aid is going to be represented as actual free air delivered or the effective swept volume effective swept volume is nothing but the entire swept volume is not going to be occupied by the air so after getting to the process of four only we are going to get the air so henceforth the effective swept volume is also called as free air delivery which is another to the ratio of a displacement of swept volume is one of the important volumetric efficiency and then uh, we have a uh, one more concepts to be discussed that is called as a double acting uh, reciprocating compressors now one of the reciprocating compressors as of now we have discussed is with respect to the single stage reciprocating compressor or single acting reciprocating compressor now single stage single acting and uh, stage is different and single acting is different uh, stage means the number of pistons will be more and single acting means there will be only one piston now one can observe that this this is going to be considered as the section wall and this is going to be considered as the delivery wall when the piston is going to be moving in this direction that is the suction process is going to happen the fresh charge is going to enter the piston cylinder arrangement and then once the suction stroke is completed it is going to begin the compression stroke and during the compression stroke what happens the one side of the piston whatever the charge is there it is going to be compressed to the desired pressure as per the design we have done for this reciprocating compressor and then once it reaches to the uh, required or the desired pressure the delivery valve is going to open thus whatever the high pressure of uh, air is going to be here in this area is going to be supplied to the required <coughs> containers or uh, well, the receiver tanks or whatever it may be it is going to be supplied to that and again uh, since once the delivery valve is going to supply the high pressure air once the delivery valve is going once the high pressure air is going to be supplied the delivery valve closes and uh, piston is going to be start going in uh, going towards the opposite direction where the atmospheric pressure is going to be below and hence the suction valve is going to be open this is what we have discussed in the uh, single stage uh, reciprocating compressor now one can observe that the process of compression and the expansion is going to take place on only one side of the piston the other side of the piston also we have some volume one can observe here where that volume is not going to be compressed or it is going to be expanded so the working fluid is going to be the water is a working fluid the air is going to be compressed in only one side of the piston henceforth it is called as single acting piston and if the same piston is going to be considered the other side also we have certain volume again we can fix two different valves that is one is called a suction valve and the delivery valve now one can see for this process the piston is moving from uh, right to left during which the suction is going to happen on the right side of the piston whereas the left side of the piston it is going to give the delivery that is compression and delivery both is going to be happen and when the piston is started moving from uh, left to right the uh, suction valve is going to be uh, get the section as well as the compression is also going to happen here and it is going to deliver that means either side of the piston either side of the piston the charge is getting compressed as well as delivered that is for every movement of the piston we are going to get a uh, compression process so this type of uh, compression process we call it as double acting reciprocating compressor and this is called a single acting reciprocating compressor and one more thing what we are going to discuss is called as uh, the limitations of a single stage compressor so now what are the limitations when a single stage compressor is required to deliver a high pressure compressed air it suffers from the following limitations what are that the cylinder wall thickness increases making the compressor heavy uh, now the, if i want to have the larger compression ratios then the cylinder wall thickness has to be increased to avoid the uh, to make sure that the pressure is going to be retained in the, inside the cylinder by increasing the thickness wall uh, the compressor is obviously is going to become a heavy and requires heavy moving or working components to compress air to high pressures if i am going to use only a single stage uh, if i want uh, uh, high comp uh, high pressures then uh, it requires uh, heavier components and also use of heavy working components increases the balancing problem 
and high torque uh, fluctuation will require the heavier flywheel installation etc and also the temperature of the air at the discharge increases uh, making it difficult to reject the heat from the air in the small interval uh, due to which some uh, the seizing of the components may take place and uh, the high temperature may heat up the cylinder head and burn the lubricating oil and also work input increases with the increase in pressure ratio also the volumetric efficiency decreases with increase in pressure ratio which affects the air handling capacity of the compressor adversely that is nothing but the FAD is going to be reduced uh, very drastically so these are some of the limitations of the single stage compressors to overcome this in the next uh, sessions we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the multi-stage compressor what is multi-stage compressor and how it is going to overcome these limitations that we are going to discuss in the uh, next session and thanks for watching this video and uh, please kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and also please ask uh, your friends to do the same and if you are liking this video please press the like button thank you guys